BNP Apparel. Make sure y'all go get that. Tap in BNP Apparel on Instagram. We outside, yo. Woke up this morning, I had a little craving for some cinnamon rolls, but uh, the gas station is out of cinnamon rolls. So, uh, I, I'm going to talk to y'all about the YouTube channel, like as far as like what got me into shooting the YouTube videos. Uh, so really like for me, I just need like an outlet, you know, some something to like get things off my chest, you know, talk about a few things. Uh, I have friends that I can talk to, you know what I'm saying? I got friends that I can talk to, family members that can listen to me, talk to me, things like that. I got like all that. But uh, a lot of people be saying like, well, I got some friends like, yeah, you really be like, you be preaching, you be like, you know what I'm saying, saying some some good stuff, some A1 stuff. Then I got a group of friends who uh be saying like, that kid, you give great advice, you know, different people say different things, but it's all positive, it's all good vibes. So I'm sitting here listening to Wallow267. For those y'all who know who that is, he got a cousin named Gilly the Kid. He very famous on Instagram. Like he's famous out here in the real world though. Like a lot of people know him, especially in our culture. And uh, he was just talking about YouTube videos. He was like, this phone right here, which is our iPhone, that Samsung you got, create millionaires. And that's true. You can become rich from shooting content. And it starts off slow. Most definitely it starts off slow. And you trying like a lot of people will try to think like, what is it that I can do? How would I start it? Man, all you got to do is hit record and just start talking. Literally start talking. Don't worry about everything that ain't there. Worry about what you can control. Worry about what uh, you do know. And what I know is I know how to give advice. I know how to, uh, you know, share my thoughts and opinions. And so far, I'm at 24 subscribers. I've been doing it for a few months. But this is without me advertising that I got a YouTube channel. I just told a few people around me that I got a channel. Some of the people around me, they like, you know, they'll watch a video here and there. Others subscribe, watch videos, comment, but it, it, it's all gonna it's all gonna go up. Most definitely gonna go up. But the fact that I can hit record and get paid to talk about like videos and stuff like that, talk about uh, relationship advice, uh, share how to elevate and get your mind set together. It's really any and everything. Fresh Prince TV is just about me. And, you know, every day look into my life about things that I do and stuff like that. And, you know, I want to have it all around, like friends, family, like people that I rock with, like show different parts of the different parts of my day and things like that, where I go and what I do. So, like, yo, <laughs> cut that camera on, start talking. And it started off at first, like, it's crazy. I wish, like, now where I'm at with it. I'm comfortable doing this. It's, it ain't nothing to cut this on and start. You know what I'm saying? So I, I wish I would have recorded the videos when I should, like when I first started. My first initial thought was, "Hey Kev, we gonna uh, shoot the YouTube videos. We're gonna shoot the YouTube channel, and we gonna uh, and we gonna uh, like I, I was living in my car when I was sleeping in my car in front of a QT. I was gonna record these videos." I was gonna uh, record the videos like this is where I'm at, this is where I'm beginning, and I was lost up here. I was lost, jacked up in the head, confused about a lot of things. I didn't necessarily know like what it was I was gonna do and things like that. I really didn't know like anything. I was just jacked up, like yo, I gotta figure something out. But you know, 
people look at like somebody else's end goal and think that that's how they started. Like I was looking at other YouTube channels and platforms. I was ashamed to like let somebody from Charlotte uh, see like that I was recording videos and stuff like that, and they see like my living situation. But man, look, I stopped caring about so much stuff since being out here. I stopped caring about a lot of stuff, yo. I don't care about personal image, like clothes, all that type of stuff. I put it on when I need to, but for the most part, sweatpants and a hoodie get the job done everywhere I go. And like, man, look, them videos I was sitting in front of uh, the QT, man, just like, I don't got nowhere to go. I'm stuck. Things got hard. It took a little rough patch. Things was hard for my family, my brother, my sister. My mom and dad recently split up, like at that time. And I was just confused. And then there was parts of me wishing and saying like, you should have stayed in school. You should go back to school, you should go do this. Like, man, look, I'm gonna tell you something about this. Some of the people I met at my HBCU I went to, I got some partners and friends who went to school just because they needed somewhere to live. They needed somewhere to stay. Now, it get real hectic out here. It get real serious out here. Like, it's people we really like. It's, it's a lot of us who don't have anything. We don't have nothing. We don't have nothing. I, I understood that I don't have much. I understood that I ain't have nothing. I started creating me my own world. YouTube channel. And then I got my uh, mobile detailing business. Boom. And I'm also working on how to invest in stocks and crypto. I need them streams of income coming any way possible. But we outside with it. You see it. Yeah, we got them. Cinnamon rolls. Uh huh. Yes, sir. I was just looking at the cinnamon rolls. Oh, okay. How you doing today, man? Good. That's good, man. Actually, do you mind if I put those in a box? I'm about to heat them up. Is that okay? All right. It's even better. Yeah, man. I'm uh, I'm gonna get both of these cinnamon rolls. I'll pay for them before I go over that way. All right. Sir. Sir, thank you. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. videos anywhere. It's other hoodies I got. I'll start wearing those as well.
Appreciate it. I know I'm about to eat these right now. Okay. All right, yes, sir. You have a good day, man. Good. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. You're welcome. I told her she let that wanna be whoa. I dressed that bitch up in G Punchy. Whoa. You live at the hills, you never gonna wear Nikes. What y'all know about that thug, bro? Y'all better start playing like Young Thug ain't, ain't that. It's kids. I told her she wanna ice Whoa. Out here a little dick. Yeah, man. I, uh, don't worry about what everybody got to say. Get out there. I know who's around. And that couldn't be more true. Wasn't nobody around when I was struggling. Not ah, facts. Well, nobody else sleeping in that car with me. Mm -hmm. Well, nobody else sleeping in that car with me. Nobody. And it ain't about the physical struggle for me. Physical struggle, easy. The physical struggle is easy for me because we went through that as kids. We went through that multiple times as kids. Man, I can't wait till I go home, man. I'm going to show y'all where I grew up at. We grew up on several sides of the city. I'm going to show you the home that I stayed in. Show you the in-town suite where we lived at. Yeah. I'm going to show you. We lived in different places out here in the world. Yep. I'm going to show you. Different struggles, things like that. The physical struggle is nothing. Everybody going to go through that physical struggle. Well, most people are. Most people go through the physical struggle. But the mental, don't think because these people out here rich and successful and seeding that they don't got succeeding. They don't have nothing like bad happening. Like, I'm not saying like I'm wishing that on nobody, but there are people with millions of dollars and mentally they don't know who they are. Would you rather be homeless and know who you are or super rich and don't know who you are, don't know who you can trust, just like that, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. This stuff for real out here, y'all. It's the real world. You gotta know what you're doing out here. You gotta know what you're doing. You gotta be for yourself in the beginning before you can be for everybody else. This world is full of vultures, full of leeches, full of blood suckers, all that. Everybody wanna come up off you. Like, and it don't it makes sense though. Why work hard for something that somebody else is going to give to me for free? That's everybody. That's a lot of people's logic. Why would I go work hard for $1,000? I am not got a friend who can give it to me anytime. If I ask for it.
I can't wait till I go home. I want to show y'all. I love this YouTube content thing now. And I still don't know how to, you know, make different edits on my videos, you know, pop up. I put people Instagrams and stuff up on there so you can, like, know who I'm talking about where you can click links and all that. That's going to come. Right now, I'm just going to dump these videos. Dump them. Dump. I was watching the interview by um, my boy Pale. For those of y'all who don't know who Pale is, meet me at the park, Miss Pale. I'm trying to think what group, them, them franchise boys. He's with them franchise boys. He got a podcast now. And he talk about how he used the, he used the YouTube podcasting thing like the streets. He said he giving people podcasts like like he in the streets still. Like, I guess dope. He gonna, he gonna push that out there. He gonna put it out there. I used to say he do two, three YouTube videos a day. What? And all you doing is just creating leverage for yourself. Think about it. You don't record all these YouTube videos, Kev. 400 YouTube videos. Now imagine when you got 10, 20, 30, 40,000, 50,000 people watching your videos consistently. People going to binge watch on your videos, wanting to go through. Man, let me check out these videos that Kev got, man. I'm going to check out all these videos he got. Once you get 1,000 subscribers, you start getting paid. You start getting views. Every million views, you get a check. Something like that. I know you get a check way before that, but them real checks come, you get millions of views. So I'm just like, man, look. To get paid off of just cutting this camera on, I'm not still from cutting the camera on while I'm working on my business and everything else. I got videos showing y'all how I search for ads on Facebook and all the other stuff. Y'all gotta go through these videos and find it. And the thing is, don't listen or look at somebody else's situation for how you should move on your situation. Don't do that. I had a person tell me not to invest in stocks. What? First off, you're going to get some type of advice from anybody. Make sure they accredit it. And what I mean by that is make sure the person that's giving you advice, they done did it before. They done went through it before. I don't really listen to nobody around me about money because we all on the same level monetary-wise. I listen to my friend, because he know. He up a few thousand, so he know how he got there. I listen to one of my other friends. He up, up some bow wows. So I listen to how he got there. But I don't listen to nobody they doing it themselves. And I let them know. Hey, what you do? How you get there? Oh, so you ain't did it? Okay, listen to that. Just, I'm in a great mood, man. I don't know what they got going on all up behind me and stuff. Like, I'm about to speed up. You ever had somebody get behind you in the car? Like, you got to speed up. And y'all end up running into each other at the light. Yeah, shoot that, shoot that content. Shoot the content. Push it out. It don't matter how you start. 
not matter how you start. RIP my boy Nip. It is a marathon for real. You don't gotta sprint the whole time. Sometimes you gotta crawl, sometimes you gotta walk. Sometimes you go backwards a little bit, but it's a marathon. And for those of you who don't know what a marathon is, it's them events they post on TV when you see thousands of people running around the city. But they running miles and miles and miles. This ain't no little small run. No, this is 10, 20, 30 mile runs. And they doing it. They pacing themselves. Pace yourself. There ain't no need to rush. I'm pacing myself. My friends were telling me, Kev, you ain't get that window fixed yet. Am I moving on your time or my time? Kev, you talking about you washing these cars? You ain't got that yet. I got it now. You see what I'm saying? Success make, success make people shut up. Success made people shut up. But success also brings critics. Everybody gonna judge you on how you cook your food, how you start your business, how you draw pictures, how you sing, how you dance, how you rap, how you play sports. You know what I'm saying? Like how you drive cars. Success gonna bring critics and success gonna shut others up. And that's what it is. And this is why I know what I'm doing working. Because I'm starting to one, it ain't about what they got going on. I'm gaining confidence. My confidence is going up. And cocky, arrogant, whatever y'all want to call it, that ain't what I call it. I just call it me finding who I really am. I'm getting back to that competitive state like I was playing basketball. And for those y'all who knew me when I played ball, sometimes people tell me, Kev, chill out, it ain't that serious. Yeah, it is. Because that was my life. Everything I did in my life was around basketball. The way I eat, the way I sleep, the way I work out, the way I dream. I had big dreams, I had big goals. So that's how I treat it. Now with the YouTube channel, I got big dreams and goals. This ain't just a gonna be, this This is not just gonna be a YouTube channel for Kev. I'm not selfish. I want any and everybody to jump on mine. Jump on the YouTube channel. <laughs> See what happens is when you include people your channel grows bigger and bigger and bigger because you're including people on something that's like, you know what I'm saying? And then when they know that, hey, I'm on there, where can I go find that at? Oh, you can go find this on this YouTube page. You're going to gain a subscriber for life. Shout out to that dude, Devontae Friga. Devontae Friga is a, uh, is a basketball player. He goes around shooting YouTube videos at different gyms, different courts all over the country. Who don't want to hoop? And then you got these guys who want to hoop. They want to be on TV. They want to be famous for a little bit. And he plugging them with the IG, plugging the clothes and everything. It's just like, that's lit. That is lit. That is lit. That is actually a smart idea. I wish, man, look, if I, whoo, I'm trying to tell you, if I had shot that content, like, when I was hooping, Man. And this is the thing that a lot of us like struggle with. We are stuck in now. We're stuck in now. Like how everything feels and how everything feels now. How you uh, are right now. Like how life is going for you right now. This is precious time. This is precious moments. Enjoy the struggle. Enjoy the ups and downs of life. You got to do that. You enjoy them struggles, you enjoy them uh, ups and downs of life. Because what happens is, life will get better. That part of your life that you're struggling with, that seems hard. Yes, it's hard. Most definitely it's hard. It's definitely hard, don't get me wrong. It is definitely tough out here. But the thing is what I'm trying to explain to you is like, understand where you're at now. Look at people around you. 
you know, ask questions. Everybody, nobody stays in one place forever. You can stay in one place forever mentally. I mean, well, actually, no, you probably can't stay in one place physically and mentally, but like, just know where you're going. If you got a plan and know where you're going and know what you want to do with it, life becomes autopilot. Like, it becomes super easy because you got a system in place to win. And anything that's outside of this, this road map, this GPS towards your destination, if it don't concern you, you're not even gonna pay attention to it. You might slip up a little bit and look over that way or get caught up arguing back and forth with this person or that person. But when you really go back to, oh, no, nah, I ain't losing. I ain't losing. I just had a conversation with my friend uh, on the phone earlier today. I was like, bro, I just came from sleeping in my car. From In seven months, I went from sleeping in my car to now having my own, like, it's not really my own house, but it's just me and my roommate. Yeah, we got to pay bills and stuff right now, but I'm thinking of something way past that. We pay bills and stuff on that right now. And, but the thing is, just like, I got somewhere to lay my head at now, yo. What? I got somewhere to lay my head at. I'm thankful. I'm on my third car. Now this car is off the lot, a Kia. I went from a Mustang that I bought from a uh, owner, a used, uh, a used owner. I bought a used Mustang from a owner. He had it at his house for like four or 5,000. I bought a Chevy Impala. It cost me what, 3,000. And now I got a Kia. I don't, I don't went up. I don't care about failing. I don't care about losing because you learn how to do it the right way next time. That's what I learned. When I first started playing basketball, what? I could, man, all the friends, all the people around me used to cook me. Everybody around me used to bust me up on the court. I could not play ball whatsoever. Everybody knew I was a football guy growing up. Cam was the wide receiver, the DB, the safety, the quarterback. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, 11th grade, I started taking that basketball stuff serious. That's the thing I think that really rubbed a lot of guys the wrong way at home. I popped out of nowhere, 11th grade, hoop, a hooper, like, really like that. And, you know, the thing is, it's like, when you put your mind to it, yo, you can really win. 